hello you welcome to dummy dimension channel if you're new here consider subscribing if you want to know how i achieve this clean flat color just keep watching because i'm going to be showing you that in this video it's going to be very detailed okay so here is my bodies that i've cut out already and i have the neckline cut out uh, at the size that I actually want my neckline to be so because of that I'm going to be taking out the width of my collar. So determine how uh, Wide you want your collar to be and then you are going to be taking that measurement out in my case It's about one inch. So I'm measuring one inch all around my neckline as you can see Then I'm going to be connecting that together and once you're done joining them we are going to be measuring half inch all around again and this half inch is for joining allowance for joining the collar to the neckline so measure half inch all around like this and connect them together like this and then we are going to be cutting off this collar width so do not cut the joining allowance okay so just cut the collar width away like this and then we are going to be repeating the same thing to the back panel so I'm measuring the collar width again, which is about half, uh, I mean, which is about one inch like I did to the front panel. And then I'll connect them together and cut it off. And I'm also going to uh, mark out my joining allowance. All right. So this is my half inch seam allowance now, okay? And I also went to cut out a rectangular fabric, which is seven and a half by uh, four inches. And I'm going to be using this as a facing. And I went ahead and notched it at the middle up and down. So I'm going to be placing that rectangular piece on the neckline of my front panel like this, matching the notch with the center notch of my uh, fabric so just make sure they are both centralized and then I'm going to be flipping it to the other side now so that I can cut off the excess just to shape that rectangular piece to form out the shape of my neckline there are several ways of doing this but this is the method i use in this video so i'm going to be cutting this part off now okay and after cutting it off i'm going to be uh because i need to have a slit at that middle part so i'm taking half inch to the right and half inch to the left of my center line so you can see the center line that i uh ironed yeah so i took half inch to the right and half inch to the left and that is where I'm going to be sewing on so that I can split up the center line to form the center slit in front of my top okay so I'm just ruling out those half inch that I measured and this is just to guide me on my sewing machine I'm going to be sewing on those two blue lines now all right, then I'm going to be determining how deep I want the slit to be. In my case, I made it three and a half. So just draw an horizontal line to connect with those lines like this. So I'm going to be sewing along this U shape now. So this line is not necessary. I'm just wiping that off. Okay, so then I took it to my machine and I joined them together like this. So you can see my stitch goes this way, this way and this way. So then I'm going to be splitting the middle open. So I cut the middle open like this. And when you get to about half an inch to the end of that line, just stop and then cut diagonally to the corners like this. Okay. And this is meant uh, to give you a clean finish when you turn in your facing. So by the time I flip this to the other side, that diagonal cut is going to uh, give me a clean finish. All right, so then I'm flipping this facing to the other side now. And once you're done flipping it to the other side, go ahead and give it a good, good press. 
all right so this is what it looks like on the outside and after pressing it this is what i have you can see how clean it's looking both inside and outside okay actually i forgot that i needed to add a ribbon to this this is you know this doesn't have to do with what i'm showing you but just for you not to be shocked when you see me in the next scene with a ribbon so i'm just going to open up this part a little bit so i can put in my ribbon you can ignore this step it's just you know something that has to do with the design of my top so now i'm done fixing the ribbon and the next thing to do is to put the panels right side facing each other and join the shoulder and now i'm done joining my shoulder this is what i have so next bring the center front and the center back together like this okay so make sure they are aligned and they are set at the middle and once you're done doing that you should grab a pattern paper and place your fabric on this pattern paper and what we need to do is to trace out the neckline so I'm just pinning down the neckline for better handling so after pinning it down you should hold this part and pull it like this so just drag it towards yourself like this just open it up and pin it down as well I hope that makes sense <laughs> so once you're done opening it up and pinning it down then just go ahead and trace out the neckline on the pattern paper and once that is done you can take off the paint and set your top aside so this line now is just for a guide we are going to be creating another new line remember that we took half inch for joining allowance on uh, top so that is the line that we need to draw on the pattern paper now so we are going to be offsetting that half inch from the from the line we have drawn like you can see me doing and then we are going to be disregarding this old one and we are going to be tracing out the new one that we did so the the new one that we did is actually the one that we need because we just used the first one as a guide so connect them together like this and once that is done we are going to be taking our color width from this line now okay so ignore this one like i said and then we are going to be measuring our color width this way so remember whatever color width you took for yours you should go ahead and measure it upward measure it like this and then connect that line together as well all right and then we need to connect this point make sure you connect it at a 90 degree angle so uh, so that it can come out nicely so once you're done connecting that you should connect the other end as well to form a 90 degree angle as well okay and this is the back side just to to not forget you know <laughs> and here is the front and and then i'm going to be carving out this part this is just to give out the shape that i want and after doing that i went ahead and cut out this pattern and I'm going to be using this pattern to cut out the, the collar now. So fold your fabric into two and again fold it into another two to make it folded into four. But make sure that the inside is, you know, well tucked in. It's meeting each other at the end so that you don't have any problem when you're sewing your collar. So that part that I marked as the back, I'm matching it with the part that i have on fold i have four folds in that part so that is where i'm placing the back side then once you're satisfied with the fold go ahead and pin the pattern on the fabric and then we are going to be marking out half inch joining allowance all around the pattern before we cut so you're marking half inch all around except the part that i marked as b because that part is on fold we don't need any joining allowance in that part and after marking you should go ahead and cut it out as you can see me doing so this is what i have after cutting it out and i'm going to be notching the midpoint both up and down 
and then I'm going to be taking off my pattern and setting that aside this is what it looks like after cutting it out and I'm going to give it a good press now after ironing it this is what I have and I also went ahead and ironed interfacing on one of it on the wrong side then I'm going to be placing them together like this right sides facing each other then i'm going to be leaving half inch here then i'll start stitching from that half inch all the way around and stop as well be half inch before the end so after stitching this is what i have you can see i left half inch at the ends you know both sides like that and the next thing to do now is to flip it to the other side but before I do that, I went ahead and notched all around so I can have a clean finish once I flip it and I iron it. So after flipping it to the other side, you can give it a good press. And I also uh, flipped in, so I kind of folded in my joining allowance of half inch like this. This is optional, but I discovered that it made my work uh, cleaner so you can do that as well so fold in your one uh, your half inch joining other ones like this and iron it flat right and after ironing it in this is what it looks like and the next thing now is to grab your bodies and grab this part where you don't have the interfacing just uh, I mean the interlining <laughs> so match the notched parts together right side of your cape of your collar facing the wrong side of your bodies <laughs> okay so match the notches together like this and you start stitching from that middle point all the way forward on the right side and to the other side as well you will stitch from that middle point all the way to the front to where you have the slit okay so after doing that this is what I come up with all right and then we are going to be folding it over now to finish up the stitching so you can see how clean it looks now because I already folded my joining allowance so fold them over now and then you are going to be top stitching all the way around and once that is done we are done and this is what the finished look looks like it's so beautiful you can see how clean it looks both inside and outside this is what your project should look like okay and here is a closer look at it and i also went ahead and made another one looking also perfect if you enjoyed my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos because i post videos like this every week so make sure you're subscribed and see you guys in my next video bye